if the wind could spread your love? What if you're sweet? Hey guys, today we are doing another month long of a new cookbook that just came out. We are going to devote January to Ri Drummond, the pioneer woman. She just came out with a new cookbook that is called The New Frontier. So we're really excited. We love her easy recipes and they're always so hearty and delicious. We're going to start with our chicken first. We're going to sear it and get it nice and brown, get some of that flavor and then add our vegetables in. So just a little olive oil, a little butter, and we're just gonna put our whole pieces of chicken in. And we're not trying to cook the chicken. We're just trying to get a really nice sear on it. And we're gonna pull it and put it aside. All right, some chopped onions, celery, and carrots. You know what, as soon as I put this in, I know it's gonna splatter. And I know, I know some of you are thinking I'm being dramatic, but just watch. My stove hates me. Okay, so, all right, that was a normal sizzle. Just a little salt and pepper. We want to get all of that yummy brown goodness off of this pan. We're going to go ahead and add in our spices. Right, Gina? What is our spices? Thyme and a little bit of turmeric. We're going to add in some chicken stock. Six cups. I know. I'm using more just because I like a lot of broth. Me too. We're going to put our chicken back in. And we're gonna let it simmer in the broth and the vegetables for another 20 to 25 minutes. So for the dumpling portion, we're going to start with flour, cornmeal, salt, ground pepper, and a heaping tablespoon of baking powder. Oh, shoot. We're supposed to sift them. Back it up. Again, we are going to sift. Oh, this takes a little extra time. I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> No wonder I don't do it. <laughs> we're going to drizzle in some half and half, like a cup and a half, a cup. and we're going to form our dough balls. I think the fear is really the like dough becoming heavy and not being fluffy. It's wet. Is yours wet? Is it supposed to be I don't know if it's supposed to be this wet, but mm. there is a period, I think, where she says to set it aside and let the dry absorb the liquid. So I think some wetness is okay. expected at this point. I won't say. Too late. <laughs> okay. We're going to take our chicken out and we're going to shred it. So I know the pioneer woman through Kat because I know Kat is a big fan of hers. But about her cookbook, I do love that she has illustrations for each step. So it isn't just a page full of words, but with the added illustrations, it's easy to go back and find where your place was or the next step. So we're gonna add our chicken back into the pot. Done. Next steps. In a small pitcher, combine the remaining half cup of half and half and two tablespoons of flour and stir with the fork. And then we're gonna add that to the pot and stir and increase the heat. The next step is we're gonna add in some apple cider vinegar, I guess for that little kick, but it said no. half a cup and I just felt like that was too much. So no, I'm No, wait, 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 wait. No, it's apple cider. Are you sure? Just apple cider. <gasps> You're right. Am I right? It's a I half have... a cup of apple cider. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, Gina, can you imagine if I did all that vinegar? Oh my gosh. So we were worried that it was a little bit extra wet in the beginning, but follow the recipe, she was right. It did get all absorbed and now it's more fluffy. Using a small scoop or spoon, drop tablespoons of dumpling dough into the simmering pot until the surface is covered in dumpling. Plop, plop, plop. Cover the pot and simmer for 15 minutes, gently stirring once halfway through. I feel like it's gonna be too much for my taste. It's gonna take away all my soup. I'm thinking I'm not gonna use this whole thing, Kat. This is chicken and dumpling soup, Gina. Do not do chicken noodle, broth, whatever. Just do it, trust it, trust it. I'm good, I'm done. I used half. <gasps> How does yours look? It looks just like her picture, except with more broth. <laughs> so you were right. What? These dumplings really soaked up all of my broth. So I ended up putting another can of chicken broth in it and now I feel like it's like the perfect consistency for me. <sighs> We're nervous 
of our dumplings, girl. Okay, mine feels dense. I was hoping it was fluffy. How does yours feel when you dug into it? It was soft. Mine's very light. Mm-mm. Mine is super dense for some reason. Oh, I was careful not to over mix. So mine feels light and soft and like I don't really need to chew it much. Yeah, something went wrong. I don't know if I had the fire on too high. Did it overcook? Maybe it did that and then, then it got dense because when I checked it at halfway, it looked really fluffy. And then now it's like really a dense ball. Oh, I do have what a big one here. Let me try this one. My big ball is nice too. <laughs> There's too many words of balls here. Because this is like dense and thick, maybe I didn't do it right. But I did hear a really good tip online that you can just make it like an easier version, but you can just use some Bisquick and then you add in a little extra baking powder to it. And that's supposed to be nice and fluffy and much easier and people say they like it better. So maybe that's a tip. I love the soup. It is thick and creamy, but it doesn't feel like it's a heavy cream soup. So good. And I hope you're glad you watched our video so you know to make this at home as well. So make sure you check us out next week and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you recall when we were young, it's fluffy and pale. I think I'm good. Mmm, yummy. Catch up and that we will